today, I'm going to be making a Fall Guys tier list. As of Season 4, there's a total of 45 rounds in the game, and I'll be giving my thoughts and ranking them. There are 6 tiers, all the way from S tier, which are the God tier rounds, to F tier, which are the absolute worst rounds in the game, as well as everything in between. The rounds in each tier won't be in a specific order once I rank them. One more thing before we get started is that these are just my personal opinions. If you disagree with anything I say, don't get mad. Everyone has their own opinions. Without further ado, let's get started. So, starting out, we have big fans, and I don't really have that much to say about big fans. It's just kind of there for me. One other thing before we get started is I'm going to delete E tier. Because I don't know about you guys, but when I rank tier lists, I just rank it S, A, B, C, D, and F. Like, I don't use E tier, so I have kind of forgot to do that before. I apologize, but yeah, big fans. I don't really have much to say about it. I'm going to put C tier, really. It's just the level kind of takes forever, and it's just kind of boring for me, really. And it's not good, but it's like not bad. Just kind of middle of the road or a bit lower. Right, next we have block party. I'm gonna put block party B tier. I know a lot of people hate it, but like I don't, I don't hate block party. I kind of enjoy it actually, especially if you get that hard ending with like a ton of people there. Like, a, like so many people get wiped out there. Now occasionally I'll have like a block party where like a ton of people get eliminated. And I go to like a final or something, but I don't really have much else to say about it there. Next we have Hoarders, and is there really much to say about Hoarders? I'm going to put D tier. Like, does anybody like Hoarders? Like, I don't really know of anyone who does. Like, it's just bad. It just exists. Probably one of the worst team games. But there's worse. We'll get to it later. Next we have Fruit Shoot, and I'm going to put Fruit Shoot at D tier. Here's the thing about Fruit Shoot. Luckily they added Big Edis, which kind of saved the level for me a little bit. And they made it common, which is good. Skiing without Edis could be a nightmare sometimes if you get nailed by a ton of fruit, especially when you first land the conveyor belt. What was the part that gets me the most? But luckily Big Edis saved it. It's just it's just RNG really. Like sometimes I don't get hit by any fruits, sometimes a million fruits come my way. But so I'm just gonna put it there. Like I just I just don't like fruit shoots. It's probably one of the worst races in the game. Alright, next we have Tipton and while Fruit Shoot isn't fun, Tiptoe certainly is. I'm going to put it A tier. I just love Tiptoe. It's just a lot of fun to play. It feels different from a lot of the other race rounds out there. And it's just a lot of fun trying to discover the path, making sure that you don't get shoved off, and then towards the end when it's super chaotic. And don't forget about the Thick Bonkers as well. That version's really good. Right, next we have Dizzy Heights. I'm going to put Dizzy Heights at B tier. The thing about Dizzy Heights is that, there's, and really a lot of the race rounds in this game is that, especially like once you get round one, like the races in this game, just like, like they feel the same really. Other ones like Tiptoe and a few others we'll get to later feel different. Like Dizzy Heights just kind of feels similar to some others. Not like they're bad or anything, like they're decent. I think B tier is a good rating for it. Right, next up we have Egg Scramble, and here's the thing about Egg Scramble. If you only got it round four, it would be A tier. If you only got it like round two, it would be here. I'm gonna kind of put it C tier. Getting it round three is decent, but like, like round four egg scramble is amazing. Round two really isn't. So I feel like egg scramble, like whether I like it or not, depends on when I get it. So I think I'm just gonna put C tier really for here. It's kind of like middle of the road. Right, next we have egg siege, and if this was season two, then I'd put it F tier. But I'm gonna put it B tier. Here's the thing: during season two, it sucked, but then. I'm pretty sure sometime around Season 3, like, I think when Season 3 was released, like, they changed the physics of the eggs, which improved both of these modes, for sure, like, both the egg rounds. And especially Egg Siege, it improved that one a lot for me. With, like, the way you're able to throw the eggs, for sure, with the new physics is amazing. You could really carry your team if you're good. It's a lot of fun to play. And although I hated it in Season 2, and I kind of was confused on why they added it, like, I love it now. And next we have Fall Ball. And if you know me, guys, it won't be much of a surprise F tier. Here's the thing about Fall Ball. I feel like it really kind of comes down to your teammates, really. Like, you can only, there's like two balls, but you can only go after one at a time, really. So the other comes down to your teammates, and usually your teammates suck, which kind of requires you to, like, play defense, really. And teammates can just be really frustrating. Like, I've had several balls that have been coming right towards me, then, like, my teammate will hit it out of the way from me and just mess everything up. Teammates could just be really frustrating. Plus, this is a two-team game, which makes things worse, and you get it late in the game, which makes it even more frustrating when you get eliminated. Next, we have Fall Mountain. The thing about Fall Mountain is that I'm going to put it B tier, I think. 
It is a fun round. Although it does involve a bit of RNG. I just have fun like playing it really. Like like I'm always pretty happy when it shows up for the final. And it could be fun. Really the only thing that kinda ruins it for me that prevents it from me ranking it at like A tier or something is D Sync. And RNG pretty much. Like the D Sync on this is just really bad. And although they fixed the row thing where you don't spawn in back row anymore, thank god for that. There's still a lot of RNG, but it is slightly predictable, like some of it, but like some of it isn't really. I feel like the desync's more of the major problem. Like, I'd rank at 80 if it weren't for desync. I actually have Freezy Peak in this one. Hmm. I'm gonna put it A tier. Probably want to put it B tier, but I think, especially because of the new shortcut that got discovered recently at the Punch and Gloves, where you could, like, get on top of it and skip it, like, I enjoy that much more than the chaos of people shoving each other. Like, by the Punch and Gloves there. So being able to just avoid it is fun, really. I think it's just. Like a pretty fun race. I like the way the spawns are. Though. Some of the spawns are quicker than others, and sometimes you can get a bad spawn. It's pretty fun. I don't really have much else to say about it. Now we have Gate Crash, and this is by far my favorite round one. Here's the thing about it one, it's only like 30 seconds long. Like 30 seconds, and it's over. Like that's already really good for me. And not only that, but it's really fun going through the gates because it involves timing, which is skill. And then the Jump at the end is the cherry on top. Alright, next we have Hexagon, and yeah, I'm putting a nest here. Like, I, I love Hexagon, guys. It's just, it's just so good. Like, I feel like people really haven't been liking Hexagon as much recently. Like, people haven't been, like, disliking it. They just, well, like, maybe put it, like, A tier or, like, B tier. I understand how, like, jumps getting eaten can kind of, like, be a bit frustrating, but, like, it's just a lot of fun to play. Like, you never know how it's going to end out. You never know, like, it's just really unpredictable. Like, you don't know how it's going to end out. You don't know how it's going to go. Like, it's a ton of fun to play. Like, I have so much fun getting Hexagon. And yeah, this is my, my f favorite round in the game. Like, I still love it so much. Like, it's, like, if they ever do anything to Hexagon, I'd be kind of sad. Like, I don't know if they're ever going to add variations. Like, I, unless they're really... Like, they could be really good, but I don't know. I like it how it is. All right, next we have Hit Parade. I'm going to put an A tier. Just like Gate Crash, it's a really short one. 30 seconds, it's done. Or maybe this one's a bit longer than that, but... It's really fun. Really, the only problem about it is that sometimes I won't, like, qual on it, because you can get... There's, like, several points that you could just get screwed big time. But luckily, like, it really happens when you're, like, kind of, like, in the middle of the pack. But luckily, it's pretty easy to get ahead, like, if you know what you're doing. But, right. Next, we have Hoopsie Legends. I'm gonna put it B tier. I didn't really like it when it first came out, and I just... I would say it's decent now. The only problem about it is that hoops, I feel like, don't really spawn often enough, and it could be a bit boring. But it, it could be fun sometimes, especially, like, if you manage to qualify really quickly. Like, I just had a game today where I qualified probably, like, 10 seconds after it started, but, yeah. Not much else I have to say. But next, you have Hoopsie Daisy, and this is by far my favorite team game. I'm going to put it A tier. Here's the thing. Is that, I know, is that I like Hoopsie Daisy more than Hoopsie Legends, as you can clearly see right here. Like, the thing about Hoopsie Daisy for me, the thing of the reason I like it is for two things. One, is that hoops spawn more often, which is really my biggest problem with Hoopsie Legends. And two, it's just, I feel like it's more fun playing it in a team game, really. Like, although your team could suck sometimes, I feel like if you're really good, you can kind of carry you can carry your team sometimes. And you can't get targeted, at least, so on, like, some team games, like Egg Scramble, where you could just get straight targeted. Like, that's not really the case for Hoopsie Daisy. It's just fun playing it as a team game, seeing people from your team scoring and just the competition. It's just a lot of fun to play. Next, we have Jinx. And this is another team game I really like. I'm going to put it B tier. Like, I know it's a two-team game. It's really the only two-team game I like. Like, a lot of the two-team games, like, really all of, all of the rest of them, I kind of despise. But I like Jinx. The thing about Jinx is that, one, you get it round two, which, unlike the other two-team games that you get, like, Round 4 or 5. You get those like pretty late in the game. Jinx you get early. So it's not as devastating getting eliminated. Plus for this. like If your team qualifies on it. like It eliminates half the lobby. So you make it to round 3 with like 20 people. Plus like if you're really good. And you're like a god at juking people. like You could be like, the last person on your team. And like carry it for your team and win it. Like I've done that many times recently. Like I'm really good at juking people out. And winning it for my team. Next, we have Jump Club. I'm going to put Jump Club at B tier. 
the thing about Jump Club for me is that it is pretty fun, although I wish some of the variations were more common, like the ones with two or three bars, like the green bars there. And the fruit, like, I don't know what to think of the fruit. Like, it kind of makes it harder, but it's kind of unpredictable, and it could be a bit RNG sometimes, but pretty enjoyable. Solid. B tier. Uh, although, I can't say the same about Jump Showdown. Guys, I'm, I'm sorry, but... Okay, before you guys come rioting my house, here's why I put Jump Showdown at D tier. Yeah, I feel like the thing about this round, I feel like it's just, like, too easy, really. It's kind of easy, like, timeouts happen a lot. Like, people can get kind of grief-happy sometimes. Like, it's just, a, it could be a bit boring, like, jumping over. Like, what's the fun of jumping over a bar for five minutes when you can get something like Hexagon or Thin Ice? Really? Plus, it could be a bit RNG sometimes. Like, it's, this doesn't really happen that often, but it could split your tiles, like, 50-50, and there's no way jumping between, and then both your tiles can, like, deplete. So it could be, like, a bit RNG and stuff, and... It really isn't the greatest, like, it's my least favorite final, and it's like, I'm sorry I had to do it, guys, but, like, I just don't like Jump Showdown. Next, you have Night Fever, and I don't really have much to explain about it. I'm just gonna put it B tier. Like, just, like, kind of like Dizzy Heights, like, it kind of feels similar to some other races. A bit different, but it can kind of take a while, and, like, it's fun, like, B tier, I would say. I would say the same about Tundra Run. They don't really have much to explain about either of those. They're both pretty fun race rounds. Not really A tier level good, but not like any lower than that. Just solid. solid. Now we have perfect match. And I'm going to say it right now is that on this specific tier list, there's a separate category for perfect death match. So this one, like I won't be counting perfect death match for this one since that will be later on. So this one's exclusively just no spinner, just regular perfect match. I know a lot of people would put it here, but I'm going to put it here. Here's why. Like, I feel like a lot of people, well, I say it's, like, boring and it doesn't eliminate anyone. Those could be problems, but I usually don't get, like, bored on this one, surprisingly, I don't know. Some game modes just bore me more than others, but it really isn't bad. It could eliminate more people sometimes, but it could be a lot of fun, and it's, it's just different. I wouldn't say it's bad, it's just alright, really. And next, you have Penguin Pursuit. I'm gonna put Penguin Pursuit at D tier. Here's why. Season 3, I loved it, especially because there's something you could do where you could pretty much spam jump and you couldn't get grabbed. But they fixed it for Season 4 where you pretty much can't do that strat anymore, which definitely hurt it for me. The thing about Penguin Pursuits, I feel like you're constantly being grabbed. Like, you're never able to hold the penguin for a while unless no one goes for you. You can't do that strat anymore, which kind of sucks. It's definitely probably one of the weakest team games by far. And next we have Rock and Roll, and this one I would probably say is definitely a middle of the road team game, like C tier. I guess not as good as stuff like Jinx or Hoopsie Daisy that I already ranked, but like not as bad as like Penguin Pursuit or Hoarders, from what I've already ranked. It's kind of middle of the road, like it could be pretty fun sometimes, although it could be frustrating if both teams gang up on you at the end and just grief your ball. And then 10 seconds later you go back to the lobby seeing you're being depressed. But I don't really think there's much else I have to explain about it. Next, we have Roloff, and I'm going to put it B tier. Here's the thing. This final could rank higher for me. It's just, like, it is really fun to play. It's just there's two things that prevent it from ranking higher. One is the desync. Like, the desync is really bad, too. That Remember before Season 3.5 when it came out, when it was moving really fast? Yeah, but they slowed it down for 3.5, and it's still good, but, like, it's, it would absolutely be be amazing if it was going full speed like uh, bossy i feel like just the like the desync like if there's no desync it would be a tier by far next we have rollout and we'll put it b tier as well pretty solid round it can be a bit boring at times i know people complain about it and i do find the beginning boring because it literally crawls but once it speeds up like i think it could be pretty entertaining for sure especially i like trying to do stuff every time like getting on top of like the little like Donuts or like dildos, whatever you call those things, or just even like walls or whatever, like or doing big jumps. Like you could really create a lot of fun from that level. Yeah, I don't know if that really made much sense what I said, but whatever. Next, Royal Fumble. I think I'm gonna put this one at A tier. It's uh, the part of me wants to put B tier because just like roll off in pretty much every final in the game, the biggest problem is the desync. Like pretty much every final suffers from it the most. Like, the desync's pretty bad, just like Tail Tag and Team Tail Tag, which we'll get to both of those later. 
but it's a, it's a really fun one, and you hardly ever get it. I'm, like, really good at it as well. It's just a good time, really. Like, I enjoy it. Like, I'm win I've, especially this season, like, I've won it a lot. Like, I kind of sucked at it, like, before. Although, I did get my first win on it in Season 1. That's something I'll never forget. But, I think that's I said enough about it. Next, we have Seesaw. I'm going to put Seesaw at C tier. The thing about Seesaw is that back in Season 1, I remember when people were, like, like, didn't know how physics worked. And people would always tilt the Seesaw too much and stuff. And, and that would be really frustrating. It's not as frustrating anymore. It's just, I kind, of like, kind of feel like it suffers from the same problem as big fans. Like, it just, it kind of takes forever and it's a bit boring, really. Like, it's not bad, it's just not good, really. So, C tier. Alright, next we have Ski Fall. I'm going to put this one at B tier as well. The thing about Ski Fall, really, is that it is a fun round and, like, like, racing down can be fun. Really, the only problem about it is people. Like, people can, con like, if they constantly get in my way. Like, sometimes, I, like, all my momentum will stop because someone's, like, going pretty slow and I'll, like, bump into them. Or, like, sometimes some of the variations could be annoying. Like, the big E does variations. Like, I don't know why they added them there. Like, no one ever uses them and they're kind of hard to use, but... Yeah, I don't think I have much else to say. So, next, we have Slime Climb. And I think you guys know where this is going already. S tier. Definitely both Hexagon and Slime Climb are both the most iconic rounds in the game. If you were to ask someone, like, if you were to think of Fall Guys, what do you think of? They'd probably say, like, Hexagon, Slime Climb, stuff. Like, like, Beans. Like, they're both just iconic, and they're, like, my two favorite rounds in the game, really. Like, they're just so good. Like, Slime Climb is the thing about it, is that it's, it feels, so, like, unique from a lot of the other race rounds. Like, the slime aspect is good, because it pretty much combines both a survival round and a race round. And it still eliminates a lot of people. People sucked it in Season 1, and to this day, it still eliminates a lot of people. Like, I really enjoy it. Like, it's so good. But, and uh, although Slime Climb's good, our next round, really can't say the same. Snowy Scrap. Yeah, going F tier. Snowy Scrap's around, I feel like has a lot of potential. It's just... It's just not good, really. There's the griefing aspect, why I don't like. like. It's just too easy to grief other teams. People do it too much, and it could be really frustrating if someone comes to your ball and griefs it. And it just really isn't that good. Like, it's definitely my least favorite three-team game. Alright, next we have Tail Tag. I'm gonna put Tail Tag, I think, here. Probably let's put C tier, because it can be really frustrating sometimes, but it's pretty fun. And it eliminates half the lobby when you get it, so... I can always rely on it, eliminating a lot of people. And I especially like the big Edis on this map. And I especially remember when able to use it to get outside the map. Like I know I did that before. I got outside the map, but yeah. And speaking of getting outside the map, that'll bring us to our next one, DoorDash. We'll put it in the ranking C tier here, but... Like, I, like, there is a glitch in it that you could do that I like to do. I usually always try to do it if I can, unless there's, like, dildos there. That kind of make it harder to do. But you get pretty much at, like, the third set of doors. Like, if you use a door piece, you can get, like, on top of it. And to the left, you could, like, get outside the map and respawn at the end. I really like doing that, for sure. And that definitely is good. Storedash is a quick round. But I just put C tier, because it has a lot of RNG to it, really. It's about, like, it's really kind of rolling the dice, whether or not your door is, like, real or fake. It is a bit RNG, but at least it's fast, and that doing that glitch is pretty fun. Right, next, we have Thin Ice. And we'll put this one... A tier. I wouldn't say it's as good as, like, Hexagon, but, like, I really enjoy it still. Like, I really like the nice. Like, really, the only problem about it is that it involves a lot of RNG, but, like, you don't know how it's going to play out. It's really fun to play. Like, I always am really happy when it shows up. And I didn't, I didn't mention that with Hexagon, and both Hexagon and the nice have it. Like, they have their own shows. Like, Hexagon Trials and the nice Trials. And both those shows work where pretty much you play both of them as like survival rounds where they eliminate like a few people at first. But then for the third round you get a final where the last person standing wins. Like those are a ton of fun. And next we have Team Tail Tag. I'm gonna put that B tier. I'd say I don't know if I like this or regular tail tag better, but still Royal Fumble takes the cake for the best tail mode. This one's fun because four teams. It's always a lot of fun going by people on other teams who have tails or just anyone really. I, and the map, like, the map's amazing for Team Tail Tag. Like, I just really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun, although I do get eliminated more than I should on it, really. Alright, next we have Wall Guys. I'm gonna put Wall Guys at A tier. 
Like, really, the only problem I have about it now is that they kind of fit. They kind of did something where you pretty much can't jump dive grab anymore. I love doing that, and they kind of fixed it, which... But it's just such a unique race, and I really enjoy it, so I still will put it A tier. Next, we have Whirly Gig, and we'll put this one at B tier. Kind of reminds me of, like, Dizzy Heights or, like, some of these other, like, race rounds. Not really much I have to say about it, really. It is just a race. But it, it can be a bit fun. Next, we have Snowball Survival, and we'll put it A tier. I love Snowball Survival. Probably my favorite survival round. It's just a lot of fun playing, trying to avoid the snowballs. Uh, the only problem I have about it, really, is that these those snowballs, I don't know if it's just me, but I swear they have aimbot. I feel like they legit go for me every time, but it's still really fun. You really gotta watch out for those snowballs. It's just like, it's just like anxiety the level, but it's kind of a good thing, almost. <laughs> Alright, next we have Basketfall. I'm gonna put Basketfall, yeah. F tier. It's kind of like Fall Ball, but honestly, this is my least favorite round of the game. Like, I really don't like Basketfall. I just don't like the. I just don't like how they design team games that involve grabbing objects. Fall Ball is like, or Basketfall is like Fall Ball, but like worse. Really, I hate have to like grab the objects. It could be frustrating if like half of the other team goes for like grabs you over it. And luckily, like I know sometimes like you can, like carry your team, but still, just I just don't like it really. I just don't really know if I have much else I want to say about it. Alright, so I'll explain a bit more about it when I get to, like, in a couple rounds. Alright, next we have Hoverboard Heroes, and I feel like I like this and Snowball Survival, like, equally. They, they're both survival rounds, they both eliminate a lot of people. Although Snowball Survival is quicker, but I feel like Hoverboard Heroes is a bit more fun. So they kind of, like... Like, they're really close. Like, I enjoy Hoverboard Heroes a lot. Like, it has a lot of good objects. It, and it's a, a lot of fun going through it. Like, I really enjoy it. And also, for the mid-season update, they're going to be adding variations, which should make the level pretty nice as well. Next, we have Power Trip. And I'm going to put this one D tier. I, I just don't like it, really. It's not as bad as, like, Basketball, but I'm going to get back into it. Like, I kind of mentioned it a bit for Basketball, but I don't really like how they designed two like, team games. First off, they're two team games, which already just aren't good. But I don't like how they design team games that involve grabbing objects. Yeah, I feel like it just doesn't really work. It, like, it could be pretty frustrating and not just good. Like, Power Trip's more enjoyable than Basketball. Like, I just kind of hate Basketball, but it just really isn't that good. I'm trying not to be biased. I'm almost a bit biased that I want to rank it higher. Just cause I feel like, it, I don't know why, but I feel like I never lose Power Trip. <laughs> But I'm not going to be biased about it when I get higher. Like, it still just isn't that good. Next, we have Roll On. I'm going to put it B tier. I don't know if I, like... Definitely probably Roll Off is my favorite of all of these three modes. But I don't know if I like Roll Out or Roll On better. Like, like Roll On, I think, is a... Like, Roll Out is more unique, but Roll On, I feel like, is a bit more fun so, at times. I don't know. But next, we have Short Circuit. I'm going to put that one B tier as well. It's a good race. I like how it's two laps. It feels unique. Like, really the only problem about it is that some of the parts can be frustrating. Like, I don't really like how they used flippers at that, like, towards the end part. Flippers really aren't good for, like, they shouldn't be made for, like, an area where a lot of people build up, I feel like. And also the part at the midsection where you have those, like, dizzy heights kind of, like, spinning platforms. And those bars, because those bars legit tag team you to, like, try to stop you. It could be really frustrating. But, but it's pretty fun, B tier. Next, we have Skyline Stumble. And I'm going to put Skyline Stumble also at B tier. Yeah, I know my B tier is kind of massive, but... Like, I feel like a lot of rounds are just, like, kind of mid, I'd, I'd say. Like, it gets a bit long. Like, the obstacles are really unique. It's just, if the level was shorter, I think I'd, it would be A tier. Alright, next we have Big Shots. Our second to last round. I'm going to put Big Shots at B tier as well. What a surprise. But actually, though, like, Big Shots... Definitely probably one of the weaker survival rounds, but it could be pretty fun sometimes. I like always tilting the seesaw. Like, I'll go to one side, tilt it, and when everyone runs to the other side, I'll run to that side as well, just keep tilting it. It could be kind of fun, really. Like, I've had some fun moments on it. And it, it's pretty enjoyable, I'd say. Like, you really can't go wrong with it. Alright, next for our final one. The moment you've been waiting for. Perfect deathmatch. S tier. Like, I know I said earlier about how perfect match and perfect deathmatch are separate. I put Perfect Match right here, at C tier, but Perfect Death Match is S tier. Like, it's just so good. 
Uh, the only problem about it is that it just, it's super rare. Like, you hardly ever get it anymore, but it's a lot of fun. Like, with that bar there. I usually qual on it most times, which is good. Like, it's really fun. It eliminates so much people. Usually, like, I'm pretty sure um, I've almost always gone to a final afterwards. I'm pretty sure really the only time I've ever not gone to a final after death match was when I was, when I got it in Fight Club. And if you know Fight Club, that's, like, the hardest lobby in the world. But yeah, that's about it for the tier list. Once again, like I said at the beginning, these are just my personal opinions. Please don't get mad if you disagree with anything I say. But yeah, this is my final tier list here. I'm going to kind of scroll down just to make sure you guys can see it good and stuff. But I hope you guys enjoy. And if you did, be sure to subscribe. More content coming soon. And I'll see you guys next time.